Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about how to impro improve your front-end skills. So let's get into it. So yeah, the question wasn't more difficult than that. Frederick, can you give me some advice on how I can improve my front-end skills? Well, uh, the short answer is that practice, practice, practice makes perfect. The thing that I would advise you to do is to have a look at the main tools, the things that are most common in the ecosystem that you pick, because usually the path of the front-end developer is pretty much the same for all. Well, it's very similar at the very least. Usually the way it goes is that you start learning the absolute basics, if you're really invested in learning uh, the core skills, which is going to be HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript, like just JavaScript, nothing else. That's the absolute basics. By the time that you've learned how to make like static websites with this stuff and like make some basic things happen, maybe with, I don't know, animations and things like that. Something where you uh, feel like, yeah, I can probably produce like a decent looking blog site or a event page or something like that. It's basically just static information in the HTML with these technologies. Then you're ready to start progressing up to SBAs and SBAs is something that you now need to add to your to your portfolio because an SBA framework is practically a must know at this point most of the like established companies are using an SBA of some sort it's actually getting to the point where it's sort of rare for you to look for a front end developer without mentioning things like react angular view etc etc so you're gonna have to pick something and on the topic of which one you should pick I leave it to you to do your own research because I strongly believe that the best thing for you is not to listen to me when I say that you should pick this or that it's much better for you to have a look at what is being requested in your region and that let's just leave it at that go to where people are fishing or where there are fish and then you need to practice using that framework and the entire ecosystem of that framework, whichever you pick. So that means that you need to get in tune with the community. You need to learn how to say, for example, let's talk about React. In the React ecosystem, you need to learn, okay, what, how do I work with React? What are the practices and common patterns that people are using? What to, to, what's, what's the surrounding tooling around the whole thing? Should I use React Router? Should I use Redux? Should I not use Redux? Do I need to learn how to use Webpack or Parcel or some other type of system? How about Babel? Is Babel the thing I should do or is TypeScript pro a better choice? All of these sorts of questions that you might have and like, you need to get that holistic understanding of the ecosystem because the thing is if you just learn React and only React you're not going to be all that useful in a professional context because usually there's more going on and then just the actual specific uh, tool in question which oh the SBA framework it's it, it, there's more to it than that so that's what you should focus on to start off with and then by the time you feel comfortable actually producing pages and like applications of any type within these tools you should practice looking in uh, and specifically practice making things that are common making things like uh, there's no point in you getting unless you really want to i mean i'm not trying to dissuade you from doing what you want to do do whatever you want to do and don't listen to me because passion is an important thing and it's this, like you're still getting practice even if you do things that are really really out there so go for it however if you want to learn skills and hone skills that are very relevant to actual work it's much more effective for you to focus on building things really well things that are common an example would be I to this day have never met a a front-end developer who hasn't hasn't ever had to build a carousel a carousel component. The people who usually don't are the people who are just using somebody else else's finished library to make a carousel and to varying success because the problem with carousels is that everybody has an opinion on how it should work and unless you and especially when there's different types of elements that should go into it as well which is really fun and especially if those elements have different heights that's even better oh that's so good 
and a lot of these different off-the-shelf solutions they have a nice-ish way of doing it but sometimes you really in order to get exactly the thing that you need you might actually have to build it yourself other things that might be very common are like accordions accordions are also a collapsible uh, collapsible components is also something that is extremely common tooltip types of things that's also very common transitioning between pages and animating that sort of thing there's all these type of common things that you just find yourself building like a million times if you want to get really advanced try to solve the problem of theming components ideally at a global scale like or a global level where you can th you know you've seen it probably night modes and stuff like that this is also things that are like they're, they're a little bit more advanced to find good solutions to but these are very valuable things that to know about and then you can of course improve your front-end skills in other areas which is more re related to architecture understanding how like what practices should you follow and uh, now it's getting a lot more advanced to to make a project success a success one of the most undervalued and i think the most in fact probably one of the most valued it's uh, it's a shame that no, not, not more people understand this is the ability to uh, to make good decisions on what libraries to use in front end that is the achilles heel of practically every single front end project that i've ever seen the reason why the most of the products fall to absolute shit apart from the culture problem is that people make bets on like they they add libraries and make bets on bad libraries and so forth and that's why i tell you that you need to get in tune with the community a little bit so you know what the main stable things are because those things are usually true for everybody whereas the people who usually cause a problem in front end are the people who may not be so versed they add things in or they don't care enough to actually research stuff and all of a sudden you're depending or changing your workflow in some fashion that makes it really hard for you to do the things that you want so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to f improve your front-end skills the first and foremost thing that you should do is to go back to basics learn how to work with the core technologies I don't care if you know how to use create react app or some other uh, like off-the-shelf solution that generates everything for you you need to understand how it works because you're not always going to be able to depend on a f standard tool that makes a large amounts of, of uh, assumptions about what your workflow actually looks like if you really want to know your shit you need to go back to basics that doesn't mean that you have to work that way for your entire career you just need to know how to do it if you need to so start with CSS HTML JavaScript build some stuff get comfortable producing static pages move up to SBA frameworks pick whichever you want look in your region to figure out which one is most relevant to you and then get in tune with the community learn the surrounding tools learn the practices read articles and start building things that are common practice the stuff that is as close as possible to the sort of stuff that most companies are using which are going to be the boring things like uh, static pages CMS systems the uh, tooltips, accordions, carousels, like all of this sort of stuff. The, it's, it doesn't get more advanced than that usually. And then focus on that until you're really good at it. And if you want to take it even further, start looking into the really advanced stuff, which is usually things like taking care of theming strategies and design systems and so forth, or building standard component libraries. That's much, much trickier than people give it credit for. And if there's one thing that you should really learn and get really good at, which usually comes by the time you master all of these things, is to make good bets. Frontend is a fucking chaos. It's while it's it's basically the wild west to anybody who isn't really in tune with what the good bets are things are changing all the time and having a developer who really knows that this is a good library that's a bad library this is a good practice that's a bad practice that is an invaluable asset to any company have a great day